This is gonna be one freaking delicious carne asada burrito. And we're starting with carne asada. Already made. Look, uh, you can go to many supermarkets and buy pre-marinated carne asada. You could uh, hearken back to an episode of ours where we made carne asada. Max, perhaps show them a little bit of that. And then that's what you have here. And what you can't smell is the garlic, the lime juice, the lime zest, the cumin, the, the soy. Oh, and as I mentioned soy, we pissed off a lot of people who said, soy sauce, I'm gonna do this as politely as I can. Soy sauce, Sam, does not belong in a carne asada burrito. Perhaps you would like to rethink that monstrosity. But it wasn't anywhere near, <laughs> near that sweet. No, people were f***ing pissed. It's like I'd said terrible things about their mothers, which I didn't. I'm just saying this is my version. And I'm telling you, it's f***ing great. So, it's made, it's sitting, it's marinated. Make it today, uh, uh, cook it tomorrow. Make it today. You cook it in three or four hours or 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you make it. But we're gonna add to this, and this will piss off people too, for two reasons. One, I'm gonna add some, some don't wanna give anybody any extra credit, some pre-sliced hash browns. Look, we've made our own hash browns before. I know how to do it, you've watched, now you know how to do it. But come on, sometimes a cheat is a, is a good thing. So this will piss off people for two reasons. One, because I'm using pre-made hash browns. And two, because, yo, dude, hash browns don't frickin' go in a carne asada burrito. And who says? Perhaps you should take a look down on the page a little bit where it says, Sam the cooking guy. It doesn't have a blank and say, insert your name here, cooking show on YouTube. It's mine, I can do whatever the heck I want. And I want the crispy crunch of the hash browns in the thing. Non-stick pan, on the heat, we put some oil in, then these, we get them going. We'll add a little salt and pepper, and then we mix. And unlike the hash brown cake that we recently made and want it to keep in one piece, this, we don't give a about one piece here. We just want this to be crispy and gorgeous. So mix it up. And while those are getting crispy, there's not a lot to do, though we can make a simple little Pico de gallo. So we start with some diced tomato, some diced white onion, some chopped cilantro, a tiny splash of oil, salt, pepper, and some lime juice. And we mix. <laughs> forgot something. Serrano pepper. So we take our little serrano, go cute, cut off the ends, Slice it down the middle. And if you want the heat, you can leave all this uh, seed and whatever that middle part is called, membrane in. But I don't need too much of that, so we'll take that out and we'll cut it in uh, a little dice. And we'll add and mix. Okay, now we're in good shape. What's nice is how fresh this is. It adds a little kick when you take a bite out of the burrito. When it's done, you get the heat from the Serrano. You get the bite from the white onion. It's all great. Come back to your potatoes. And clearly we've got a ways to go because that's what we're looking for. We want this. We want the whole thing like that. So just take your time. And by the way, you could do this in advance and just rewarm them before you build your burrito. So I'm in a hurry and actually in a shitty mood. The pan was taking too long, so the hash browns are right on the Evo. Probably what I should have done in the first place. And when the hash browns are gorgeously crispy, we take them off. Put on the carne asada. First a little more oil, and we go. Fantastic. Love the sound. Really love the smell. And this is not gonna take very long. 
spread it out as thin as possible and let it start to do its thing on one side. So because it's thin and won't take long, we can start to move it over to one side because we got to put our tortilla on. And on it goes. I always say like a giant bed sheet. It's not going to take long. And when it's done on one side, flip it over, give it another few seconds, and we build. So we'll start with a little sour cream, because why not? And a little Cholula, because it's my fave. Beautiful. Next, this gorgeous carne asada. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Of course, some cheese on top. Oh boy. The hash browns. Goodness gracious. Crispy hash browns, no less. The fresh pico de gallo. And now some fresh avo. Which I forgot and Max reminded me. Now we roll. Back over, sides in, and there we go. Well, we've done this a bunch of times. This looks like 400 other videos we've done, but it will not taste like those videos. Oh, I could hear the hash browns crisping as I cut. Oh, come on. Come on. That's going to be one impressive freaking bite. And... Yeah, it's just beautiful. The carne, the avo, the tomato, the... Uh, that's what you want. I was just in Mexico last weekend. Uh, Bucerias, about a half an hour from Puerto Vallarta. And I haven't eaten it yet, but this smells as good as anything I had down there. Stand by. Tastes as good as anything carne asada that I had down there. The crispiness of the potatoes gives it a texture that I think most carne asada burritos don't have. And frankly, I find lacking. The crunch, the, the, the bite of the, the white onion, so good. You must make this. You must comment. I can't force you to subscribe, but subscribe if you want to. And give us a like. And let us know in this video, in the comments below, what you want to see us make. Because, frankly, we're here for you.